Which card? This card! Only shooting stars break the Tonight I'm going to be playing Tiny Bones on Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian and I hope you enjoy this sweet deck. You want to know what this deck has? It has Discard. Okay, it has some other stuff. It has like stuff that's just good in black, but mostly it has discard because our commander, Tiny Bones, is all about making our opponent have no cards in hand, letting me draw, and then draining them for 10 at a time. It's a very fun deck that I've actually been running for a very long time in Historic Brawl, and it expanded into 100 cards from 60 with ease because it turns out there's a lot of mind rots that have upsides, and I'm playing a lot of them in this deck. So I hope you enjoy me for a little bit of brawling. Can't get Rog Monster. What do we got? We got one drops, two drops. All I need. A turn one Knight of the Ebon Legion. Feels good. Feels good. Black has a lot of really, really good spells. And in Brawl, it has really good removal. But you know what has even better removal? Golgari. Because black and green together, that's Golgari. You know what they have? So much good stuff. It's crazy how good the cards are in Golgari right now, especially removal. I was thinking about making the discard, but I kind of want to go for like Tiny Bones and the discard. Oh, they're not blocking. Oh, they're not blocking. Let's get in here with the knight. Let's boop them. Here comes Tiny Bones and a drill bit. Escape shift, battle get recovery, and assassin's trophy. So my permanents are not super worth destroying. I'm talking about like Golgari removal. There's some of it. Um, recovery is probably just a land for now. I'm gonna drop that escape shift because it stops them from tutoring Field of the Dead. Drill bit, never boring. Another good flavor text. Okay, so the Tangled Florahedron is just kind of chilling. They bought back that scape shift. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try to make them discard it, I suppose. I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna check that hand. Mm-hmm. This Assassin's Trophy and lands. Okay. Eliminate the Florahedron. And swing in. Draw a land! I like that. I like drawing a land. And they still have that scape shift! And I don't have a way to make them discard it. That's not gonna stop me from trying. They'll be able to empty out their hand pretty quickly with Gitrog Monster. Ooh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Gitrog lets them play a second land. Oh, but they don't have another land in hand. Okay, that's really good information for me to know. Discard. Heartless Act. I'm just gonna go ahead and beef up this here knight. And swing in! Go get him, kids! Um... Hmm. I don't really need Davry alive. Empty that hand. No cards allowed. They dropped Garuk, okay. I'm just gonna activate this twice. Down to five. We get to draw another card. Oh, I love Waste Knot so much. And down to three, they've chosen murder as they're out. 
Ah, but soon they will see the error of their ways. Be gone, murderous rider. Okay, so I don't actually have lethal right here, but still got some good stuff. Go get him, tiny bones. As long as I have a card in hand, I can't activate tiny bones. Okay, I can, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, Clark, you can make a lot of zombies, but do you know what those zombies don't have? And this is important. Reach, because Nightmare Shepherd is a 4-4 flyer. I'm trying to think. They could gain one life off of the land. They could exile my graveyard. That doesn't do anything. They can get a bunch of zombies. But I don't think they can win. I think that's what I get to do. Let's go Tiny Bones! My next opponent is Goreclaw. Goreclaw is terrifying. Goreclaw is a big girl who makes big bears. It might be hard for me to uh, race against the bears, but I'll try my best. Neverwinter Dryad? Okay, she's uh, she's able to help ramp. By the way, some of you may notice that now, in the lower left corner, there is the song that is playing at any given time. So if you want to know the artist and the song that's playing, there it is in the corner. I need to make sure I can play this Elspeth's Nightmare on that Leafkin Druid. Oh, Toski! They're drawing cards! Uh, I could epic downfall the Toski, but I really do think taking out the Leafkin Druid is more important right now, so I'm gonna do that. Is it time for Goreclaw and drawing two cards? I guess they're gonna check out to see like what they can draw first. To draw first, act later. They drew a mm, good cards. Cold Steel Heart. Okay. Maybe they're just going to go to uh, sacrifice their dryad. Mm, Life Crafters Bestiary. So they have a Galta in hand, but they mostly just have lands. Uh, because now I know that very important information, I am going to exile Toski. Goodbye, my sweet. And I'm going to choose between prepping the Skull Raid, which probably won't be very useful, and getting this Waste Knot down, which will probably be pretty useful. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, uh, actually I'm gonna play Tiny Bones. He lets me draw. I like that. I like drawing a card. Because we did make them discard the, uh, Lifecrafters Bestiary there. Core Claw! Here she is! She's gonna super discount this Galta. Oh, <gasps> they're gonna destroy my... I assume Signet? They're gonna destroy my Signet! You monster! Also, you made this not legendary, so, like, thanks. Okay. Bye! Whee! I figure against green, I'll probably have a lot of targets with Heartless Act. But I see two legendaries here. Oh, I think I I think I gotta kill you, but like also I really want to draw so I have stuff. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna risk drawing here. Land, land, land. Okay, good. Two lands. I'm gonna go with the snow-covered swamp and killing a bear. I kill the bear, I skin the bear, and I wear its pelt as a cute little hat. That's my heart solace act. I love bears IRL. They're like, really cute. And dangerous, yes, but mostly cute. Here's the Eldest Reborn. I know, I could have lined up Turgrid first, but... I don't want to be that mean to my opponent. That's why Turgrid's not my commander.
There's Gorklaw! Gorklaw, again, returns. They discard another land. Hmm. I don't want Galta to hit me. Oh, I should have played the Waste Knot first. Um, I'll hit them with an oops, because that was an oops. But it's okay, because now I get to steal Galta. That will be my Galta, and I will love him so very much. My delicious 1212 dinosaur. I take it! And then I get the Golta! I'm Golta! I'm a big dinosaur! You sure are, sweetie! Uh. Some of these? One of those? Ooh, Huntmaster! Huntmaster is so great! It's, um, Grave Titan, but more and better. What? Why did you- why did you play it? Well, alright! I'm gonna go for the worm, then. Oh, worm. The game, opponent! It's Grave Titan, but a woo. So much a woo. Xanathar! They're gonna steal my cards, aren't they? I accept this. We got lands that come in tapped, but at least we have lands. Uh oh! Those are my thinks! Those are my thinks! Don't take those! I need them for thinking! They don't want me exiling their graveyard or making them discard. I understand. Behold! My very small bones. They're very small. I made them myself. Tiny bones steals to feed their family. The best definitely real lore anyone's ever had. So Divest might not hit anything. What you got, Marari 2018? You got a sweet Ferrari, you got a sweet Marari. I want to bring chaos to this battlefield. Behold the Hypnotic Spectre! So, they're probably going to counter this. Unfortunately, Xanathard Guild Pin King Pin can be kind of hard to play against, because this deck's best build is just control. It's control! I'm gonna hit them with a divest. I really want to know what they have in their hand. Or force them to use a counter spell on this. Even if this does not hit anything, if they have no artifacts or creatures, I still want to take a look. Okay, so they have a Sinister Sabotage, and they had a Murderous Rider, which they could have chosen to use there, but they wanted to hold up Sinister Sabotage instead. So I'm just going to hit them again with the Tiny Bones. No Sabotage for you, friend! Uh, land? Okay. Huh. They're gonna kill my bones! Not my bones! Okay, I have sacrificed my bones. And now... I think I'm just gonna throw down this Midnight Reaper. We can discard Cast Down. Necrogoyf. You know, I actually should have just held up for the madness on Necrogoyf. That would have been big brain smarty pants. Raider's Wake. Acquisitions Expert. I'm gonna drop Acquisitions Expert. My big bones are just fine, but they did kill my tiny bones. Hey, you want to make me discard? You should you should totally get my acquisitions expert from my graveyard. It'd be really cool if you did. 
for for reasons. Nope, they're taking Hypnotic Spectre. Whee! I'll just cast that down. And <laughs> Midnight Reaper just doing work. Gonna keep the beats. You're gonna have to play this eventually. Maybe. Heartless act? Rude. At least I get to draw a card. Yay, drawing a card. Stop being all removal. Have a raider's wake. Sippy. Oh, here comes that sinister sabotage. Inquisition of Kozilek. They can hit uh, Infernal Grasp or Eliminate there. And... Tiny Bones again! Here they come. Here come the small bones. You have another counterspell? You got five mana up. Disallow. You're such a fun deck, aren't you? Behold. Mire Triton. Mm, fun and thrilling. Uh, okay. I guess. You know all the cards I got. Come at them. I assume they're just waiting to like be able to protect Xanathar, but this is getting silly. Okay. Wow, oh, Infernal Grass! They have a kill and a disallow. Okay, here, here comes Anathar! But they know my hand is a way to kill it, and they're gonna leave. Because they can't handle my kill spells. It's Marwyn! We got the elf ball at the ready. Alright, so, um... If they get the hoof, then we are hecka dead. That's how I play Marwyn, and I bet that's how they play Marwyn, too. Ooh, Elvish Warmaster. That, that is a kill-on-sight card. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Here's Marwyn! And a Mox Amber. Oh, they're getting that ramp. And a Wildwood Tracker! Alright, Marwyn's even bigger. Damn, girl, that was fast. By the way, when this attacks in, it's a 2-2. Or blocks. But it just hangs around as a 1-1 until then. I like its dog. It's a good fox. I like giant foxes. Uh-huh, that's, that's a turn 4 for Inclex. Yep. That makes these a lot worse. I am going to kill the Vorinclex because I have these two Planeswalkers in hand. Even though you make all the mana in the world, all the mana in the world does not save you. This can't be activated. They only had one card in hand. Okay, well they can activate this. It's just going to fail to find. Yikes, that's an Allosaurus Shepherd. O okay. So we'll have to block if they attack in with these two. Because they're going to become five fives. Plus one, plus one. I, I'm not really in the mood 
to take all that damage. Activate the Allosaurus Shepherd. Shepherd! Alright, so Liliana currently can give minus two, minus two. Which is enough to kill the Allosaurus Shepherd. I don't think they can activate it again because they only have four mana here. Oh, but wait, in response, they're killing Tiny Bones. Um, so they still have lethal. Nice. Decline. I'm leaving him there. And here's the good game. They, in fact, have one above lethal. Ooh. Extra damage. A fine match of magic. We're up against Garuda. Hey, Garuda. Got some loud cars going by outside. You and me quiet. I'm recording YouTube videos over here. Ooh, all right. So Frog Brazil, I assume that's what the BR stands for, is hitting me early with a bit of discard. So they're going to hit my go blank, which is very rude and makes me very sad because that was going to be my turn three. I was going to go blank them. And there's Dark Ritual, so they can get Garuda out bright and early. Hello there, turn three commander. And from their end, they hit a Dusk Legion Zealot. And from my end, they hit Kite Scale Freebooter. And there's actually no targets in my hand for it, so. Whoops. I'm not gonna bother waiting. I'm just going to kill this right now, because I'm scared. Also, they might have counter spells. I think because I'm scared is a good enough reason. Hey, wait. Why'd you leave that in the graveyard? Why'd you put that in the graveyard? I need to see what reanimation spells you have in your hand. Ah! No, it's counter spells! Okay, so I'm glad that I used that kill spell when they were tapped out before, because indeed they did have a neutralize in hand. Guardian Idol, a bit of ramp. They've still got two mana up. But I think it's a fine time for Davriel. Unless it gets countered. Tail's End! Okay! I'll attack in for another one entire damage. Whirler Rogue. Oh, Worm, how I wish you were on this battlefield right now. But you're not. So here's the murderous rider. I really like the alt art on this. It's appropriately spooky. Oh, you're swinging with everything? Uh, blood on the snow, maybe. Oh, they're they're drowning the murderous rider. Ah ha ha! A land, and you have exactly one card in hand. Are you gonna play or are you gonna discard it? They're going to discard it. It was Ulamog! I'm not sure why they put their commander in the graveyard. I'm going to assume it was a mistake. And we've all been there. We've all misclicked. Oops, speaking of which, 
Oh, I didn't misclick. I misplayed. I forgot that they still had a guardian idol up. Now with two more lands, maybe I can have a worm. Panharmonicon. Okay, that's that's good for some nice enter the battlefields like this. With their commanders. What else are they gonna do? If they attack in here, they lose a little thopter. Um they can tag in with both of those to get one damage in. Ah, no, they were tapping artifacts to make it unblockable. That makes sense. Ah ha I'm getting ever closer to that worm. Hmm. Let's go Westgate Regent. A good spooky fellow. It will have to be blocked. Lest it get really big really fast. And Demon Lord Belzenlock! Okay! Uh, let's see how many cards they get in hand. That's one, okay? Two! They got two cards in hand. Wait. Why did it do it twice? Until you exile non-land. If the card's mana value is four or greater, it gets repeated. Mindstone's mana value is not four or greater. Oh, it was Panharmonicon! Oh, I'm so stupid. It's right there. It's right there. Well, here's Worm! Here's Worm! Here's Worm. You love Worm. They made Bells and Lock um, unblockable. Great work! Okay, now that I'm at six mana, let's go. They can trade the Westgate Regent uh, for Bells and Lock, and they're choosing to. I think we have a pretty significant board advantage right now. We got the Worm. We got the Spectre. They got the a Brain Maggot. You should get that looked at. Just like... Just, just so you know, you should probably go to a doctor. And... What you gonna take? I only have so many cards in hand. They chose Blood on the Snow and Entumor Exarch. And now it's time for the bones! Is it time to bring back Garuda? I think Garuda's better than uh, Ulamog here because it lets him go wide. So this is going to trigger twice, and they're going to get up to two more creatures. Let's see what they get. Uh, I see Lazav on their side and nothing on my side. So I assume Lazav, and then it's going to do it again. But first they get to surveil, because maybe it's a card they want on top. Maybe they want to toss it in the grave. Okay. Okay, so Xanathar. Nice. Or Thassa, if they want to do that two more times. Uh, I think I think it's Thassa. Yeah! Alright, so here comes Thassa. They're gonna blink again. Oh, look at them go. Look at them go. Uh, Rankle. Nice, that lets them block in the air. And one more go. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, it's a whiff. Oh, it's a whiff. But we still win because all I need to do is blood on the snow and then we win. <laughs> Excellent work, tiny bones. Your bones and all of their smallness brought me to victory. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're watching it live, special thanks to you. As always, this was recorded live at twitch.tv slash Amazonian where I stream every single day except Tuesday. We don't stream on Tuesdays. Tuesdays are terrible. Except for all the times that I stream on Tuesday anyway, because I'm a hypocrite. And, you know, Tuesdays sometimes just be like that. Thanks for watching!